Yeah, boundaries are never going to work in a narcissistic relationship because when you set boundaries, you're exerting an equal amount of power. Mm -hmm. You're saying we're not we're not doing this. You're saying you're basically saying I have power and worth in this relationship too. And there's no room for that in a narcissistic relationship. They're not going to hold space for someone exerting their own sense of self. So you don't get to have boundaries in that relationship. So that's not even an option. But I'd argue fear is the heart of the narcissistic relationship. What we see in sort of coercive or coercively controlling relationships where everything is governed by fear. You're constantly afraid of doing or saying or being the wrong thing. So as a person is in a narcissistic relationship, they shrink. They shrink to something that can never offend or get attention away from or bother the narcissistic person. And they also become quite isolated. So because there's a lot of shame now that you shrink, you don't even want people to see your shrunken self. So you withdraw and you lose that support. And that support is essential if you're going to ungaslight yourself. The only way to ungaslight yourself is to have people supporting the reality that you witness and see. But it's that idea too of how people will pathologize people for leaving what looks, at least on paper, like a good relationship.